The Sioux Falls Stampede earned three of a possible four points at the USHL Fall Classic and will look to carry that momentum into this weekend's series at Fargo. Kettleland Sean Bauer has that story. Sioux Falls needed two come from behind efforts to earn three points at the Fall Classic, which served as an encouraging sign for a young Stampede squad. It's a little bit of a will. I mean, there is there's determination to stay with it, and so. You know, I think it speaks well here early on of the character of the team, and we're encouraged by that. We played well as a team, and we came out with three points out of four. Uh, it would have been good to get two wins, but uh, we're happy with what we uh, did so far, and we're looking forward to the weekend in Fargo. The herd are set for a two-game series with the defending Clark Cup champs this weekend, but feel they know what to expect after already playing the fours twice in the preseason. That's kind of an advantage, you know. We know exactly what to expect against Fargo, so. Um, yeah, we're ready and uh, everybody's fired up to play. On Wednesday, Sioux Falls named Marco Reifenberger team captain and selected Cade Borchart and Blake Bride as alternates. The trio has played a combined eight seasons of junior hockey, which bodes well for a team that features 16 players born in the 2000s. We're going to have games that are probably going to make a lot of mistakes in. I think they can lean on those older guys to show them the way. The Stampede are young but already road tested as they open with nine consecutive road games dating back to the start of the preseason, which has helped speed up the adjustment period. I do think it helps bond your team, bring them together, get a little bit of road toughness, uh, but we're looking forward here a week from Saturday to get home for the home opener. It, it just seems like we've been gone quite a bit. In Sioux Falls, Sean Bauer, Kellogg Sports. The Stampede open their weekend series at Fargo on Friday. The puck drops at 7:05. O'Gorman and Mitchell cross paths on the volleyball court. We'll have the highlights next. We'll be right. Lincoln, O'Gorman, Rapid City, Stevens, and Watertown were perfect on day one of the girls' state tennis tournament and stand tied atop the leaderboard at 180 points apiece. Today, the rain and cold pushed matches indoors, but that didn't slow the Patriots, Knights, or Raiders, who remain atop the standings with 300 points apiece. Watertown, Brandon Valley, and St. Thomas More round out the top six. The tournament continues on Friday. A high school volleyball match pitting top ranked O'Gorman against number five Mitchell. Opening set, the Knights' Jamie Renshaw keeps the ball alive, and O'Gorman turns to Emma Ronsick, who collects one of her match high 14 kills. 16 10 nights. Later in the set, O'Gorman works the ball to Ronsick, but Mitchell's Chelsea Brewster denies her at the net. Point Colonels, but they continue to trail 22 15. Ahead to set point, the Knights' Sydney Wambach delivers her second consecutive ace. O'Gorman wins a set 25 15 and cruises to a 3 0 sweep of Mitchell. SDSU senior Mike Dom has been named the Summit League preseason player of the year. While the Jackrabbits are a near unanimous pick to win the Summit League, earning 34 of 36 first place votes. South Dakota and Denver split the remaining ballots. Two time defending Summit League Player of the Year, Dom averaged nearly 24 points and more than 10 rebounds per game last season and has led SDSU to three straight NCAA tournament appearances. The viewers have spoken to the tune of nearly 400 votes, and the viewers' choice game of the week is. Gregory at Woolsey Wessington. The Warbirds Gorillas matchup earned 92% of the votes and will receive extended highlights Friday night following Sports Zone on the sports page at Kelloland.com. That is a look at sports.